Today you're going to learn that not all GX460s are the same. You already know the obvious cosmetic differences between the 2010 to 2013 GXs compared to the later models. The biggest giveaway being the spindle grill, of course. I had the pleasure of meeting Willy Vera from Velox Offroad. They fabricate all sorts of innovative and high quality products for many vehicles. Willie installed some gull wings on my 2012 GX460 and told me about some interesting findings. Here he is talking about some very subtle differences you may or may not know. Willie, we had tried the 2014 to uh, the new model uh, version of the gull wing on this 2012 on Sandy. And the most subtle differences, please explain that to me because this is really twisted in everybody's minds because yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, no, so Forerunners and 460s, they have what they call like a Gen 1 um, version of like their models, which was 2010 to 2013. And a Forerunner, um, it was mainly like headlights and um, some dash upgrades was the change. On the 460, we thought it was very similar but apparently there's minor nuances in this, in the body. So for instance, this, this lip right here, on 2010 to 2013, it's a little more severe. 2014 to 2022, it's a little more gradual. Same thing with this little knob right here. Just little subtle changes in it made it to where a 2014 going was not sitting in here. And so you're going, and there was another customer's right at the same time ran into this problem luckily he ran into it first so we had him in the shop and we were able to do a 3d scan and just totally recreate it from scratch this is a brand new going especially made for the earlier models so they fit perfectly so whenever we clamp it up here you'll see all these factory holes it should be lining up perfectly and it should just bolt right on Wonderful. Yeah, that's a good thing about 3D scanning is that you don't need a vehicle very long. You just scan it once and you forever have that perfect uh, model in, in your computer. And such is the world of a fabricator. I mean, you guys you guys are kicking out products for not just a GX, I mean, for Forerunners, you know, but you have, I mean, you offer the, your products to so many uh, automakers out there, right? Right. And models. And you have to stay on top of, of uh, all these subtle little nuance changes in between yeah. models and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, always a learning experience. You know, like in the very beginning of Velox, yeah. we would, customers would kind of donate their vehicle, like usually not a daily driver, to where mm -hmm. we can have it long term for like a week, two weeks or whatever. And we would template. Mm -hmm. It was trial and error. We would, we had a laser scan, mm -hmm. a laser cutter. We would cut cardboard out, take measurements, and just refine it. Just trial and error, cutting, cutting, mm -hmm, to reshaping mm -hmm. it. But now with the 3D scanning tool, we don't need a vehicle for two weeks or a week. I mean, we can have it in for one day, put all the dots on it, 3D scan it, and we can have them back out that afternoon. And then we have that scan to play with forever. So mm -hmm. one of the things too, um, Recently, we were in Vegas for SEMA. Mm -hmm. and while we were gone, my wife's GX, we, I dropped it off at the shop, and our CAD guys were able to scan more things on the vehicle, that, which we hadn't done before. Mm -hmm. So very soon, we're going to be offering, like, people have been asking for, like, the heavy-duty shelf yeah. in the back yeah. of a 460. Yeah. So now we're going to be offering that now. Mm -hmm. So they're different than a 4Runner because the angles and the molly panels are different, so we had to create special brackets mm -hmm. for it and the shelf's going to be more narrow so we're going to be offering that um, the external molly panels that you see on forerunners will have those available for 460s uh, early models in 2020 2014 to 2022 mm -hmm. 23 now um, 460s and very soon 470s are wow. coming out too so incredible slowly we're working so a lot of exciting a lot of exciting uh, news for every, people if you've been wondering right yeah so every day right now like we can't keep up with the products we're creating um they're being posted on our website almost daily like little things little brackets ditch light brackets that mount underneath your mirrors instead of like on your hood yeah. towards a better position um 
we're rolling out Jeep products, uh, gull wings, shelves, molly panels, and we can't keep up with green screen photos and just uploading stuff to the websites. Yeah, and yeah. So we're trying to do, we're, we're still a small shop. Yeah. There's like three guys right yeah. now. And we just hired one of my friends who's a website designer. So he's in the background, yeah. you know, trying to do the little, making it look cooler and yeah. making it more user friendly and adding add-ons. Like we have a firm now mm. that we didn't have before. So there's payment options and um, just all the things that you should be doing online we're now doing we didn't do it before because we didn't have the know-how we knew how, we knew just enough to get us in trouble and create the website yeah and then we hit like a roadblock and we're like i don't know what else like we didn't know how to take it to the next level so right now we're at that point where we're taking it to the next level and yeah. getting over that hump and um getting more tech savvy and having yeah. more uh, newsletters that are going to be going out on emails mm -hmm. text messages that sort of thing so we'll be getting a lot more of that stuff this is a. It seems to be like the perfect example of a, a, of a small company with a huge product yeah. and a very on demand product yeah. and fast. Yes. And you know, so you've been working through that. You're like you said, you're developing that support. A reminder to people that yes, it does seem like like Velox is this huge company. Yeah. No. But but in this is the guy right here. Yeah. So, you know, doing this it's me my business partner and his brother and then good we have god guy who's like an accountant who kind of runs our shop uh -huh. very small shop so now you know the subtle yet significant differences in the body design have you noticed any other differences between the first and second generation gx460s let me know down in the comments thanks for watching get up get out do something